Hello everyone, my name is Brennan. Welcome to another Quick Tip Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm doing just a quick tutorial on how to do easy, simple glass for your architectural renderings or whatever you'd like to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to the compositing setup. Or you can just stay in the default setup and just change this to Node Editor. And there we go. Let's click on Use Nodes now. And the nodes that we're going to be using today are a light path, a glass node, and a transparent node. So let's go ahead and delete the diffuse BSDF, which is blender shader diffuse, um, something like that. Not sure what that stands for, but um, okay, let's move on. Let's go to input uh, light path is when one of the nodes we're going to be using. So let's add in the light path node and let's add in a glass shader. So let's go to shader, glass, and now let's add in a transparent node. Let's go to shader, transparent, and there we go, we have these three nodes. And we want to mix these all together, so let's add in a mix shader. So that's right at the very top here. Okay. Now let's drag this and add, uh, connect it to the surface on the material output node. And let's drag this right here to the second or the top, the top um, connection right here, the top shader connection. All right, now let's drag this one to the bottom sh shader connection or little, uh, whatever that thing is, little connection. And we need to uh, connect is shadow ray to the fact or the factor on the mix shader. And now we have our simple glass shader set up or material set up. And it's a great material. It looks pretty great. Let's have a, see a preview of that right here. Um, let's also make sure in the node editor. Let's make sure settings are correct. So I have the roughness at zero, the IOR at 1.4, and that's it. It should look pretty good. Let's go ahead and go to the rendered view and look at that. It's hard to see, only because our background is um, is not very, um, just one solid color. Norm normally, you would have like an environment texture to add to the reflections and everything. And I think you're also supposed to add a solidify modifier for this type of glass. Yeah, I think that's why. But it works great. Let me add in an environment texture. Uh, yeah, environment texture. Nope, no, not a sky texture. We can still see how that looks. That looks okay. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Looks okay, yeah. Actually, looks okay. That could actually look great. Um, so, sorry about the last Tuesday I was sick. Had a horrible flu, but glad to be over now. Glad to be over it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next Tuesday.